Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about you have to give yourself credit where credit is due. You must and you will always have to give yourself credit where credit is due, you know. What kind of brought me to this subject today is just running hand in hand with life and engaging with real life beings. And just understanding like even from some of the information that you know, I teach out because I bring a lot of awareness to the opposition tactics that they like to use. And as much as I inform you guys and I'm aware of how long the opposition have been using their playbooks, we have to give ourselves credit where credit is due for how long we've been using the playbook we've been using. We have been standing solid for an extremely long time. And the longer you are in this fight, you are in this realm, the more clear and the more evident it becomes, you know? And just kind of diving in consistently, just kind of trying to line up all the enemy tactics and things that they use when we already know the lump sum of it all. But just trying to keep it all in place for everyone to understand. It's like I gave a scenario like a few episodes. It probably was a while back. But just discussing like how I knew one of my close relatives, you know, young too, was using the opposition playbook and was pretty far into it already at the age of 10. So you got to, if I can discuss those things about how well they held on and how long they've been using that playbook, then that's why I say we got to give ourselves credit where credit is due for the playbook we've been using. You know what I mean? Like. We've been fighting this good fight for a long time. And through all the trials and tribulations and for as many times as we almost tapped out or gave up, you know what I'm saying? I don't mean like psh, us doing that thing that we, you know, humans do. I don't even like talking about it because the shit is weird. But you know what I mean? Just kind of like putting the football down, putting the computer down, you know, putting the pen down, putting the pad down. That's what I mean as far as like quitting and tapping out you know what I mean and the rewards never seem to like equate to what it should be if you are not aware of your blessings that has been keeping you in a much more peaceful state than the ones around you that's kind of been giving you that extra oomph and lift more so than the ones around you. We've been fighting for a long time, and I know for each year that passes spiritually, I'm gonna fuck about these physical years, like I do and I don't. The physical years, they go counterintuitive with my physical body. You know what I mean? Time is real. All that weird stuff about time is not real in the spirit world. We in two realms. We in two realms. This physical realm, time is real. That's how you grow and plant food. The time. The obvious. You know what I mean? But the new age witchery was having people just confuse the most basic, obvious things. You know what I mean? But just kind of understanding, like, you've been fighting a good fight for an extremely long time. And anytime you hit these hard rocks, these hard mountains, boulders, walls, you know what I mean? These are hard transitioning points in your life. These are hard transitioning points in your life. You got to remember if if you're around 10 people, you know what I'm saying? Everybody is not charging up to be in their best light. Everybody hasn't been fighting the good fight, you know? So they may receive subtle rewards due to the demonic team focusing solely on this physical realm. You know what I mean? We are receiving blessings which are way more fulfilling. I gave this example numerous of times about, you know, just getting a bag of chips or something. You take it home, you're excited. It's full. Mm. You get to enjoy yourself. You feel like a zenful moment if you have been waiting for those chips. But if you get those chips and you take them home, you bust the bag open and it's empty, you're going to be disappointed. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like how the opposition have all of these people feeling that follow them. Is they getting all this, they get a new car, they still feel like a piece of shit. They get a new house, they still feel like a piece of shit. They get a bigger bag, they still feel like a piece of shit. 
They get new clothes, they still feel like a piece of shit. We got some people out here just spinning, spinning donuts in a school parking lot, you know? But as long as they keep it over that way, so if it's interfering and y'all can hear, that's what that is coming from. But um, it was some subtle things happening with certain beings trying to gang up on me and send me these ill intentional vibrations and frequencies you know and i ain't gonna make it seem like it didn't reach me because it did reach me but what i can say is i've been a fighter my whole life and most of us have been so i can take a blow you know what i'm saying so even if you throw a spiritual blow i guarantee you i'll be able to take it it's just what i've been doing you know what i mean so they was throwing a lot of blows involving other people. Then all of a sudden something happened in the spiritual realm. It was like my squad was just like, nah, 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 this ain't gonna happen. Uh. And just decided to go to work on them themselves. You know what I mean? And somebody had put out a post, a relative had put out another post about my relatives that I'm speaking of. And it just kind of hit me right here in my heart. You know what I'm saying? like. It made me feel really, really, now we got an airplane. It feels really, really joyful. Like, I probably shouldn't have been as excited and like, what's the word called? Um, I don't want to say fulfilled, but it like all those words that come with words that come with excitement and it was just more so the fact of the universe relaying the message that these two beings have been working magic on multiple beings in the spirit world and now it's starting to reflect back outwardly and they are getting the same energy they was putting out they're getting it back in return and it came back way faster and I didn't even have to do anything in the physical realm the universe was like, we're gonna use another vessel. I didn't have to do anything. And it was just like, it's crazy. It was just so mind blowing. I don't believe in coincidences. But when you grow up in these demonic households, you know, these relationships that's formulated with the parents from mom to daughter, mom to son, dad to son, dad to daughter, you know what I'm saying? It's always really witchy and weird, you know what I mean? And they are, uh, so I had to let them do their thing for a second. Like I was saying, the process of me not even having to do anything, I didn't have to use my physical vessel for any of it. Only thing I had to do is focus my energy on moving forward in life. And the universe was like, we already got you covered and protected. It's so many things that we do through our walk of life when you really live in this lifestyle that you realize that you know you protect it because you do a lot of things that most people would be questioning or looking at sideways, you know what I mean? So we are in spaces where we understand that most people are not going to agree with us. Most people aren't going to understand our perspectives, you know. I had somebody respond to a post on my Instagram. Um and they wanted to make it seem like I was bashing single moms and it was like no I'm not bashing single moms only the single moms that put the shoe on I know some amazing single moms but only the single moms that put the shoe on I don't have I don't gatekeep the sex women do so if you throw it around freely then that's that's on you oh we didn't use no the protection is you you aren't disciplined, and then you want to force that on everybody else. You could have said no to it. Just because you want it don't mean you have to have it. 
it's a lot of us out here that got shit on let's say cavities you think everybody is running around eating pounds of ca candy 24 7 like no just because they can no they have to pay for it so it wasn't a, a post bashing or, or pushing them in a space but you have to separate the witches you have to separate see the ones who are non-witches they don't get offended because they're already walking in that light and they're already understanding everything on a much higher frequency it's the ones who aren't that take it that way and they take that information and they're like okay well you're using these facts so you're a misogynistic I'm like I don't even I don't I like massages but I don't I don't know what the misogynistic is I, I don't I don't know what that is all I do is know how to be a masculine male that's what I do that's what I know as far as any of the, those other little blah 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 titles hey you can call me any title in the world I guarantee you it will not shift my energy and how I vibrate and I know that goes for most of us if we had to grow up in this this was in our soil when we change pots they should already know how much tougher and how much more fight we're gonna have to and be willing to grow we was already surviving and growing and shining in some of the shittiest spaces with people beating us down at point in times in our life where we're already feeling low and pushing ourselves to aware space already so once we start ascending and getting to these positions we got to pat ourselves on the back. You know what I'm saying? We came a long way. We came a long way. We have been fighting. It's always this emphasis put on the other team. And I know I do it because we have to be aware of what they're going to do. It's just that simple. If I know what my opponent is doing in football, I can stop his plays. If I know what they're doing on basketball court, I can stop his plays. If I know how he likes to play tennis, I can stop his play simple process you know what I'm saying so that be the main reason for understanding the tactics that the enemy uses is so you can strengthen your defense not to just be sitting in that space and just saying oh yeah and just keep pointing the finger and blaming and blaming and blaming no because everything is on a percentage scale so as much as we could blame them they'll take let's say we get them 90 percent 10 percent is still on us it's still a percentage you know it's a numbers not a numbers game but it's it's just numbers numbers not meaning like it's just only numbers but I'm just I was trying to correct and compile that back together you know what I mean but just understanding like we've been fighting this fight for a long time we are protected on a whole nother level that most of them wouldn't even understand you know what I'm saying that's why it don't matter how many times they try to do their little weird attacks or bring in different little flying monkeys or other little demons to help them out. It don't never succeed because they don't have real strength and real power. It's all false. And the ones that can muster up some strength, it still ain't strong enough for this over here. So let's say that that's not false strength. Let's say they got some real strength. That strength is still not going to max or match this strength over here. That's still how it works, you know what I mean? So when we start understanding these things, it's like you automatically start removing a lot of the fear that's kind of been instilled inside of us. So just be mindful of these things, you know what I'm saying? You have been fighting a good fight for a long time, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be called every name under the sun. We are unorthodox out here, you know what I mean? We are outside of the box. We are outside of the norm, you know? And then we do it with such great intentions that is is it like you can see them melting away like the wicked witch of the west you know what i'm saying like they always feel like we gonna think or process the way they do and we always show them time and time again that we understand y'all thought process and where y'all travel to spiritually but we don't take that route it's a wine industry you're going this way i'm going this way you know what I'm saying? But I ain't want to run it up too long. Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.